there's a game coming to Steam that I'd really like to bring some attention to. It's probably the game I'm most excited for. Uh, the exact release date is unknown. We don't know when it's going to be coming out in early access, but it will be available on Steam. It's called Beta Decay. Beta DK. And I'd like to just show off a bit of the uh, promised features that they have here on their website a bit and maybe show some gameplay footage. It's uh, being developed by one guy named Cray. Uh, and everything about it just looks super appealing to me personally, and I know to a lot of other people, but as you can probably... If you, you probably saw already the uh, graphic style is like a PlayStation aesthetics, which I think is awesome. I think it looks great. Um, let me tell you a bit more about it. We can read a bit more about it. So, Mankind has expanded its reach beyond the soul system. Factions, corporations, and syndicates are locked in a political and economic strife. The inevitable destruction and decay of a colonized exoplanet is imminent. Beta Decay is a dark, dystopian RPG where you can build spaceships, join factions, and fight for territory in a newly discovered star system. Live amongst the colonists as a citizen of the new frontier, be an engineer repairing starships, to a syndicate leader executing raids deep within a labyrinthic neon city. <clears throat> so, yeah, and you can see they've got, like, uh, like, PlayStation game, like, CD tray cover art. I think that's really cool. Um, yeah, we'll read a bit more about it. Uh, I'm, I'm really interested in, in just sort of sharing the promised features in the game. And, and just to, uh, get it out of the way, there's no available playtest as of right now. Some people were given access to... A play test on patreon but it's no longer available so and again i'm just going to get this out of the way at the start um a lot of people join the discord and ask questions uh the same questions over and over again uh please check out the faq on the website it probably has an answer to your question uh mixing Old with the new high-tech, low-life. That's how he describes the game, as being high-tech but low-life, I guess, which makes sense. So there's lots of cybernetic enhancements, and nanotech have become a commodity amongst the population. So it's kind of like a cyberpunk type of game, uh, where people are using implants and, uh, you know, cybertech and stuff like that. There will be PvE and PvP single player plus meaning you can play with friends so there will be like co-op or pvp servers maybe or um it might just be like a I, I don't know if there will be dedicated servers or not i'm not sure how exactly multiplayer is going to look again you can probably find more answers to that in the faq recruit and command you can recruit subordinates and issue commands deploy with a landing crew to explore the planet surface or order your lieutenants to patrol a territory. So that means you'll be able to have like a squad of NPC of NPCs and you can sort of direct and control them like you know give orders and whatnot. There are mechs in the game which a lot of people are really excited for. I think it's pretty cool. Um, they're called MCVs mobile combat vehicles. Uh, so you can pilot them, and you can fight them, uh, <laughs> and, which, again, I think it's pretty cool. And just looking at all this with the the uh, PlayStation 1 aesthetic is really nice to see. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. I don't think this game would... Well, maybe that's not true. The, the features... We'll go more into the features. The features are so impressive that it could be a pixel-based game, and it would still be... Uh, it would still sound like a really good game to me. So you can modify weapons and all that stuff. There's, you know, weapon mods, attachments. Uh, this is something I'm... This is one of the most uh, exciting things for me, is the player-driven economy. 
It says you can trade products through physical shops on the streets to digital securities on the Cent Centauri Exchange. Take on roles ranging from an engineer calibrating communication servers to a faction leader executing territory raids on rival syndicates. So there will be more to the game than just combat. There will be options to do things like, uh, like it says, engineer calibrating communication servers. So I guess that means like getting paid to do engineering work. Welding is definitely going to be in the game. I'm hoping uh, surgery and like medical stuff like organ harvesting like in RimWorld will be in the game. Um, character customization. I mean, it doesn't show a whole lot here, but uh, there's, again, check the FAQ. There's like a lot of stuff you can customize. Um, and it is a survival game. It's like an open world sandbox survival game. Uh, viruses, phenomenon, and many creatures reside. So you can get, you can catch a virus, right? Like you, there's disease, like sickness, and it's, you know, things like that. Build starships. So if you're into like space, you can build spaceships um, with a crew and you can travel to other planets, question mark? It says you can go where they like. It says players may go where they like, when they like, doing whatever they like. Um, join factions, NPC factions, to do like sort of territory warfare. Um, there's corporations, there's criminal syndicates, uh, maybe the more miscellaneous factions in there. That's that's all that's on this page. Again, I'm going to show some gameplay footage if I haven't already. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, I think this is the most exciting uh, upcoming game for me personally. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm buying it day one, even if it's an early access game, which I sometimes avoid early access games. I'm definitely trying this out. Um, yeah, so... I'll play some footage, uh, and I'll be giving credits to the original in the, uh, description, so be sure to check out the channels that recorded this footage. Huge thanks to them.